Welcome to this week's Blackboard discussion, the first one on monopolistic competition. To best understand monopolistic competition, think of the monopoly market structure and think of the pure competition market structure, and you can get an idea. Monopolistic competition is kind of a combination of monopoly and pure competition. There's elements of both in this market, and we can put it somewhere in between. First of all, let's look at demand. For the pure competition market, it's kind of like the demand is a flat line. For the monopoly market, demand is a kind of straight up line. And uh, what happens when you draw these monopolistic competition markets, you can kind of draw a demand curve in between. That's a good, uh, simple way of thinking about monopolistic competition in the first instance. So you end up with this kind of diagram here. It looks very similar to the monopoly diagram, which makes sense. And yet, it's a little bit flatter, a little bit more like the demand curve from the pure competition. Here we go. Here's how we uh, characterize monopolistic competition. There's the drawing, and here's how it works. You get a small market share. That means the company doesn't have uh, an infinite amount of competitors like in pure competition, but it has some market share like a monopoly. Um, other things. Well, you know, what's an important thing is that you have differentiated, that means they're different, sorry about that, products. So they're not identical like in pure competition, but they're similar. For example, you can think of shoes. Some shoes are brown, some shoes are black, some shoes have buckles, some shoes don't. So if you think of shoes in this instance, well, shoes are something that might be monopolistic competition. Some shoes are different than others, so you get a kind of monopoly feeling. Like if I want a shoe like this with bows and zippers and everything, well, that's one kind of shoe. Of course, I could get a, a sandal of some kind if I wanted. And if I had a sandal like that, well, it's a funny sandal, but that is supposed to be a sandal, then I would uh, have a monopoly in sandals. So that's the idea. Some things have a monopoly, some things don't, etc., etc. What's important then? What's important is brand names, packaging, advertising, all of these kinds of things. And if you can advertise and package and differentiate your product a lot, then you end up more towards the monopoly side of this kind of situation. If you can't, if your product is constantly being copied or if there's things very similar to it, you end up towards this side of the spectrum. Anyway, what we've got here is small market share, differentiated products. We're going to talk about advertising as well. That's another hallmark of this kind of monopolistic competition market. Um, that's it for this one. We'll go into monopolistic competition number two, and we'll talk more about the dynamics of what happens in this diagram. See you then.